breaking news in women's health confirming what we have suspected for a very long time that bacterial vaginosis or bv is a sexually transmitted disease. This groundbreaking study published in the New England Journal of Medicine just proved that BV can be passed to women by their male sexual partners. More importantly, the study found that treating both partners is significantly more effective than just treating women alone because it takes two to tango people. BV is the most common vaginal infection out there, affecting one in three women. And if you've ever had it, you know the frustration. It typically flares up after sex and it is notorious for coming back again and again. Beyond just being incredibly uncomfortable, BV can increase risk of miscarriage, premature birth, and has been linked to infertility. For decades, BV was suspected to be sexually transmitted, but earlier research found no improvement when male partners were treated with only oral antibiotics. So what happened? Women were left to deal with it themselves. Taking antibiotics that weren't really solving the problem and managing a recurrent condition solo. But this Australian study could completely change that. They looked at two groups of monogamous heterosexual couples where the woman had BV. In the first group, both partners got oral and topical antimicrobial treatment, and in the second group, only the women were treated. Now here's the kicker. They actually had to stop the trial early because the results were so obvious. That's when you know. The data was so clear that treating only women was significantly worse than treating both partners that they stopped the trial so that everyone could get proper treatment. And the numbers speak for themselves. In couples where both partners are treated, only 35% of women experienced a reoccurrence of BV. But when only women were treated, a whopping 63% had their BV come back and more frequently. This is a perfect example of how too many reproductive health issues only focus on one half of the equation. BV treatment has focused solely on women, despite the known possibility that male partners could be part of the reinfection cycle. Follow Today Learn Science at TL Science for more stories like this for Women's Health Month in May. May is Women's Health Month, and in honor of this, we're dropping a very special episode on our YouTube channel at the end of the month. You won't want to miss it, so make sure you're subscribed.